Welcome to FFN Overtime. Today, we put the spotlight on a couple of second-year programs off to impressive starts. Right here at Archer Kale, the Knights are 3-0. After going 1-9 in their first season and getting shut out in four of those games, the undefeated Knights are averaging 30 points per game in 2007. The secret to success? We're better up front on both sides of the ball. I feel we got whipped so bad last year. You know, we had some decent skill people, but, uh, um, you know, we were all real young folks. Mike Craig and Mike was fine. You know, we just not kick anything started. Uh, defensive line has done real good with Charlie Mike Sell over there. So, uh, you know, that's where we got better at. We're better up front. So, you know, you got a chance to get something started. Being in the same conference as Independence and Butler can be intimidating. But that's not what this team is thinking about. You know, we really don't worry, worry about, uh, you know, who we're playing around. We've got to concentrate on us. And uh, we got to get better. We get, you know, we're still playing a lot of young kids. We've only got 10 seniors. And not all of those start. So, you know, that's the big thing right now is, uh, you know, don't beat ourselves. Down in South Carolina, the South Point Stallions are also 3-0 and ranked in the top 10 in the state at the 4A level. The Stallions are ranked ninth in the state in the same poll with traditional powers like Burns, Somerville, and Gaffney. The rankings are full players, and uh, it, it's good to get the school's recognition, but, you know, half those guys that rank you had never seen you play, and they're going on hearsay, but... You know, it's good. It's good for the kids, but we don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. First-time success can be difficult to handle sometimes for a second-year varsity program. But considering the lumps they took in a 3-8 2006 season, they quickly put things into perspective. Perseverance was a big part of our last season. You know, we just be patient. It'll happen. We try to tell them that. And we, you know, we've got a big stretch coming up here. Rich and Northeast is a great football team. Then you play Rock Hill, a crosstown rival. And then you play Clover, who's been flawless, you know, since they've become 4A football. And our kids are, uh, and coaches, you know, they're putting things into perspective. And they know how important football is and how you have to prepare for games. A look at the private schools here in Charlotte reveals they are playing some excellent football. Charlotte Latin, Country Day, Charlotte Christian, Providence Day, and Victory Christian are a combined 15-0. That record will get a blemish this week, though, as Latin hosts Victory Christian, and Charlotte Christian faces a stern test on the road as they take on East Lincoln. For FFN Overtime, I'm Nate Wimberly.